Cheers, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to another episode of Bourbon Booze. It's Thursday, and I'm so glad you're here. Excited, actually, that you are here because you get to try or you get to participate in a very special whiskey, um, one that's near and dear to my heart, and I'm super excited to show you that. So make sure you hit that like and subscribe. It means so much to us. Uh, this is a very special uh, whiskey that I got overseas, and uh, it's somewhat not completely impossible to find here in America, but a little bit difficult, and the price on it could be a little bit um, out of your reach, so to say. But this is the Glen Deveron Highland Single Malt Scotch Whiskey. It's a 20-year uh, Scotch whiskey, which is really cool um, because 20 years tend to be pretty expensive. Uh, this is from the Royal Burr Collection in... Uh, the McDuff Distillery, which is in Banff, Scotland. It's a very um, almost prestigious uh, uh, distillery. It's um, not... Glendeveron's not impossible to find here in America, not by any means, but it is pretty rare or, or um, seldom that you will find it. Uh, at a reasonable price. So this is 40% or 80 proof and this one it runs anywhere from $90 which is MSRP which I got in Europe. Um, actually this is a one liter bottle and I got this uh, duty free shop. Uh, so that kind of shows you it's uh, uh, difficult in finding. But here in America it runs up to about six to seven hundred dollars. Um, and I've seen that even higher. I've seen um, it quite a bit higher, but on average, it's between 90 and 600 bucks. Uh, just love this stuff. I actually picked up two of these bottles. I bought one for some very good friends of ours who were celebrating their 20th wedding anniversary. So that was exciting. But this one's for me. I do have the uh, 16 year as well. It is a Highland, but it smells very floral, like um, a mix between Highland and Speyside little bit of sweetness, but it's got that floral of rose, uh, heather, just some nice grassy um, kind of malty hay <laughs> to it. Uh, it's definitely a malty to it. Little hints of dry chocolate and probably <clears throat> A green apple just pleasant I love it and so um, obviously at $90 it's a one barrel rating on cost but um, I'm going to tell you that overall uh, this is not a one barrel and this is going to be in the four to four and a half range mm, just absolutely spectacular I would say by far, this is a five on aroma. It's got all sorts of complexity and aromas. There's no real assaulting um, medicinal or, or um, alcohol sting to it. Granted, it is only 80 proof. Mm. Nice, silky, warm. It's got um, some deep, rich, chocolatey, uh, I don't know, a little bit of leathery, but chocolatey florals to it. Almost like having a, uh, a candy, not the orange chocolate, but just a, a nice milk chocolate uh, floral aspect to it. A little bit of vanilla in that green apple. This is, wow. Spectacular. This is a five on flavor. I just, <laughs> this is going to be something I might have to look for again. I'm headed uh, overseas several times in the next uh, six months, so it might be one of my pickups. I hate buying something a second time. Uh, as you can see, I like to buy one of everything, but it's just amazing. And no real buy. This is a five all the way across the board for me. Uh, the cost is a little expensive, but I'm going to go ahead and place this as a five. 
and might be one of the few five barrels that we have rated this year actually in the past five years this is absolutely amazing and by far one of my favorite uh, single malt scotches um, and very sad in that it's so difficult to find here in America at a price that is affordable mm. I don't know. Um, that's my opinion. I think this is spectacular. And I'm an Isla guy, but this Highland is just amazing. But let me know what you think. Leave those comments in the down there. Um, just let us know. Hopefully you have enjoyed uh, your holiday here in America week. Um, tomorrow's Friday and we have a, a cocktail that we'll do for you. I actually did a cocktail episode a while back that never aired. And so um, I'll be talking to Cody if he wants to go ahead and air that. We'll do some special editing because it's got a little bit of dated stuff in it or if he wants to do a whole new one for tomorrow so we'll look at that and uh i did join threads so that's a new uh facebook secondary app type thing it's a replacement for twitter uh we did uh, discontinue our relationship with twitter it was too caustic and um wasn't really suiting our needs and was kind of, uh, I felt the negative to the channel. So we did end our relationship with Twitter and uh, we have joined threads, but we also have Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok. And so make sure you check those out and all of our other videos, Monday through Friday, we drop them at three now. And I um, hope you have an amazing Thursday. Remember, there's no bad whiskey. There's only great whiskey. Good whiskey and great whiskey. Sorry, I jumped straight to the great. And this is great whiskey. Glen Deveron 20. Cheers. Thank you.